The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you? Tuesday morning, 7 11. It's got to be a lucky day, right? Four o'clock in the morning, very tropical out here this morning with uh, mid 70s, dew point temperature around 72. The sky is clear. I see that bright moon right over here. Hey, so the biggest story I think I have for you this morning is the building heat, which may peak around Thursday and Friday. Wait till you see some of the numbers the global models are indicating. That's worth staying, staying around for on this video. Plus, fluctuating rain chances, which may spike again over the upcoming weekend. I'll have the latest on that. We'll take you out to the tropics again. I've been uh, building graphics since 2 o'clock this morning for your morning weather video, which begins right now. That uh, weak front, which has been haunting us since the weekend and was the focus for showers and storms again yesterday, will be fading out. I see a few showers down towards the coast this morning on the radar. Uh, today, a very typical day with random afternoon scattered showers and storms. For the lucky, 30% chance roughly, I, you know, 30, I think 30% is pretty good on the rain probabilities. And you can see future radar shows that uh, most of the showers will be in central and south Alabama during the heat of the day and then fading out later on this evening. There's a nice little cluster in southeast Alabama. Lots of sunshine today with a high temperature easily 92, maybe 93. Tonight's low down to about 75. The winds will be light again and up at 20,000 feet. Another one of those big 594 heat bubbles uh, building on the 500 millibar chart here. And that means more heat as we get towards the middle of the week with the heat building tomorrow, easily mid-90s tomorrow. I think still think the hottest day will be on Thursday with uh, temperatures, well, you'll see in a minute. It, it looks pretty hot. I, I've got 97 for Thursday. Uh, and uh, the heat um, all the way through the eastern U.S. and across the south, it's going to be a torrid day. And not only that, the heat index will go into the danger range. The danger range is above 105, and I think we'll be somewhere between 105 and 110 on Thursday, and maybe even Friday. I mean, I think uh, you'll see in a minute some of the models advertising a very hot Friday with showers increasing Friday and a better chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Random, maybe 50-50 coverage as we get towards the Saturday and I think Sunday. So like last weekend, the rain chances will be elevated, not a washout, and still random. And as we look at temperatures over the next few days, so I've got uh, 94 tomorrow, maybe 95, huh? 97 on Thursday. That may be conservative. I think I'm going to have to take Friday up. I think Friday is going to be almost as hot as Thursday. And then rain chances increasing Saturday and Sunday with temperatures leveling off just a little bit. Beach forecast for the beaches from Gulf Shores to Panama City. High temperatures in the upper 80s and water, the uh, water temperature 86. I've got a 40% chance of storms in there today and a 30% chance Wednesday and Thursday down at the beach. Hey, what about the tropics? Well, we still have the remnants of tropical depression four between the islands and the bahamas no signs of development and that area to watch off of uh, africa well all of a sudden the national hurricane center has stopped talking about it i i know and uh, what about the global model gfs was advertising a hurricane yesterday now the gfs says what hurricane that's how finicky the models can be we'll continue to watch and see if this comes back on the board we're watching the tropics for you in the meantime, the European out 10 days shows the hottest day is Thursday, but it also says a pretty hot day Friday, too. Look at the blue bars at the bottom. See how showers and thunderstorms increase over the weekend and into uh, next week as well. Uh, so let's look at specific numbers. The European has 98 on Thursday and Friday. It's not out of the question. Um, <clears throat> you know, we'll be in the neighborhood. I've got 97 on Thursday. And what about the, the GFS goes crazy? It has 99 on Thursday and 98 on Friday. So anyway, the, the, the point is it's going to be hot as we go from the middle of the week into the end of the week. And your weather app will keep you up to date on the hourly forecast and also the 10-day forecast and radar and future radar. It's good to have, and it's got some great information. It's free in the App Store. If you still don't have it for your uh, smartphone or tablet, go to the App Store and search Rich Thomas Weather. Hey, take it easy out there in the heat. I know some of you work outside, which I can't imagine in this kind of heat, but take as many breaks as you can and stay hydrated for heaven's sakes. Don't forget the sunscreen. I'll uh, be live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. I hope you join us. We have a great time. Greg J and Emily and uh, Bailey the Wonder Dog, 
she's she's there. Yeah, she just heard her name. Uh, and uh, I'll have another video for you tomorrow morning at 4:45 a.m. They'll be post as needed, of course, on uh, Facebook and Twitter, and uh, that goes on your app automatically. Follow me on Twitter. We do a lot of good stuff there. We're 42 days away from the Great American Eclipse coming up on August 21st. Not quite total here, but 90% of total, which is pretty good. I'll see you in the morning. Rich Thomas Weather.